Assalamualaikum. My name is Aisha Nawaz. I'm doing my PhD from Institute of Microbiology, University of Agriculture, Faisalabad. The topic of my presentation is evaluation of antimicrobial activity of algae and ANSYS peel extract against various foodborne pathogens. Introduction. Food safety is a leading concern for public health worldwide and food pathogens remain the major factor as a causative agent for foodborne diseases. Food spoilage due to the microbial contamination and oxidation of nutrients are the reasons, main reasons. Uh, the oxidation of nutrients occur because of the usage of the different preservation techniques that has required from the heat temperature or any kind of chemicals. Or Foodborne diseases are responsible for nearly 600 million illnesses and 4 lakh. Uh, uh, 20,000 deaths occur and only because of these food borne diseases. Uh, um, food and Agriculture Organization has reported that as the economic loss of uh, 1.3 billion tons of food products occur annually and uh, several preservation strategies to control microbial spoilage, such as chilling, reduction of water activity, acidification, pressurization, aeration, chemical antimicrobials has been used in the past, but they have adverse uh, various limitations like depreciation of the microbial resistance, adverse health issues, apart from that environmental pollution, and uh, above, uh, above all this is the uh, oxidation of the nutrients of the food because of the temperature one things. For that reason, natural cheap and safe preservatives like plant antimicrobials can be used. Uh, Nichoinensis is an exotic flu belonging to the Sependaceae family, we having 138 to 1 genera. Nichoinensis grow in both tropical and subtropical regions and indigenous to Vietnam, China, Philippines, and contain various uh, uh, metabolites like uh, um, flavonoids, uh, phenolic uh, content like procyanine, B4, BTU, and uh, epithyogene, and they are rich in uh, phosphorus, iron, vitamin A, B, and C. They have strong antiviral, antithrombatic, and uh, uh, antioxidant uh, and anti uh, activities from the nutritional point of view. Although they have uh, in vitro uh, activity of the Chinese leaves and seed have been reported, but the in vitro activity of the wheel and the in situ activity have is very. Uh, not reported yet. So to, uh, for that reason, to uh, this topic is choose the objective of the study was to isolate and identify different bond microbes such as Staphylococcus aureus, Bacillus cereus, Escherichia coli, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, so Salmonella, Enteritis, Aspergillus niger, and Candida albicans from various food samples. To evaluate the antimicrobial activity of lichinensis bale seeds and leaf extract against food bond pathogens both in in situ and in vitro. First of all, collection of plant material, preparation of peel, seeds, and leaf extract, then isolation and identification of food one pathogens. Uh, then uh, in uh, vitro distribution assay will be done, and in C2 uh, food matrices will be used like fish and chicken for the antimicrobial activity analysis. Next, collection and preparation of plant extract. For the collection and preparation of uh, uh, plant fruits, uh, lychee fruit, and leaves will be taken from the uh, garden, different gardens, and then washed and peeled off uh, and dry, uh, dried. And after drying process, it will be grinded into a powder form, and then uh, the, with the help of 85% ethanol uh, in it, you know, ethanol, the 85% uh, eth ethanolic extract of the leaves, leaves, uh, seed, and peel extract were made by using conventional method and soft separated method. And then isolation identification and in vitro antimicrobial analysis. Sample collection, for, first of all, is the main uh, step. Uh, for different food samples were taken and then uh, they were grown over selective agar, the growth uh, after, uh, from then growth appears on selective agar after seeing the microscopic characteristics of the bacteria and fungi, they were uh, under, uh, then gram staining was done for the bacteria and for the fungi, like the phenol cotton blue stain was used. Then. After uh, microscopy, uh, biochemical tests was used for uh, different biochemical tests like methyl red, indole red, straight test, uh, red um, test, catalyst test was used to see uh, which bacteria uh, give positive test or negative test. Then antimicrobial susceptible test was done by distribution method in vitro against the, all these plant extracts. Then bacterial strains showed that 
लाइक सामने एंड प्रेडर दिस वाज ग्रोन ऑन सामने शायद जाला एगर स्पेन ग्राम नेगेटिव कैटालिस्ट पॉजिटिव गैस मतलब रेड पॉजिटिव गैस सिट्रेट पॉजिटिव एंड मोटाइल पॉजिटिव तो इन द सिमिलर वे ऑल दिस बैक्टीरिया शो दिस कैटेस्टिक्स नेचुरल इन द टेबल antibacterial susceptible characteristic was uh, seen against both conventional uh, extract prepared both against conventional method and software repeated method uh, and uh, as a control test ciprofloxacin stain was ciprofloxacin was used as a uh, uh, antibacterial susceptibility testing uh, seen against the leaf extract showed maximum growth against salmonella enteritis was uh, uh, and uh, salmonella erythrobacterium uh, erythrosa uh, erythrosa while uh, peel extract showed maximum uh, against uh, staphylococcus aureus and uh, uh, e coli while well, seed extract uh, uh, showed maximum growth in, uh, inhibition against uh, e coli and uh, salmonella enteritis so uh, as the uh, salmonella enteritis and uh, uh, having so uh, some staph aureus are important so they have been used in situ activity was detected against them also so inhibition zone again diameter of the extracted leaves and chinesis peel extract so these uh, aspergillus niger and candida albicans were the two fungi against which antimicrobial activity of the chinesis peel extract was seen and uh, from the graph is uh, you can see that they uh, show the the elpt indicated the uh, extracted leaf chi peel powder that uh, uh, showed the growth at different uh, days of the bacteria fungi while the control uh, is the something uh, having no control uh, having negative control having no um, antifungal in it so uh, the result and show that the um, the chinese peel extract has so in, uh, has inhibition um, effect inhibitory effect against candida albicans much more than the aspergillus niger even the candida albicans were grown for the 14 days in situ antimicrobial activity uh, was done uh, for the in situ activity samples were taken and mixed with the inoculum and the uh, extracted and to place in the refrigerator for raw uh, um, as a preservative and for a few days and at different days the sample were taken and then blended with the beton water uh, and after several dilution was uh, uh, poured over the near general medium uh, selective media for the bacteria and the uh, to see the colony counting uh, growth with over that and the results indicate or uh, uh, this in this form that uh, staphylococcus aureus uh, um, has shown the minimum inhibition has shown uh, growth reduction in uh, 4.94 cfu to 4.7 cfu and while control have 5.6 cfu at the initial time and they at the uh, 14 it has 7.3 cfu uh, of the uh, staph aureus of the fish at the control why the salmonella enteritis uh, fish uh, showed that 3.1 at the initial time and 2.8 uh, cfu at the 14th day so uh, uh, similar with the case with the meat uh, uh, they have shown that the 3 point reduction of cfu from 3.8 to 3.4 while uh, the control have also reduced the uh, growth reduction but that is because of the temperature and the uh, other factors so Uh, from this, it can be realized that analytic mixture analysis leaves and seed extract showed antimicrobial activity against all selected food-borne pathogens. The strong inhibition was seen against Staphylococcus aureus, E. coli, and Enteritis. Uh, and apart from them, the, uh, Candida albicans was also uh, against Candida albicans was also seen. This analysis peel extract showed a growth reduction against uh, uh, Staphylococcus aureus and inhibited. Had uh, not much that level, but it inhibited the growth of Staphylococcus enteritis growth on uh, food matrices also, and can be used as a natural preservative agent for the uh, uh, preservation of the food.
Thank you.